This week I'm in Moscow with uh, Sergey and his team, and earlier today we wrapped up the State Commission uh, working together on the next steps for the Expedition 68 crew and uh, looking forward to the path um, as a result of the anomaly we had with the Soyuz. Talking about uh, debris, uh, we still think that it's a uh, micrometeorite uh, because we have uh, image of the crater on, on the radiator and we also made an experiment using special high velocity gun and we did uh, experiment uh, trying to hit aluminum plate with uh, the same structure uh, with a small particle about two millimeters in diameter and uh, our result of this test uh, completely uh, coincide with our calculation. So our current theory that uh, this damage was caused by small particle about one millimeter in diameter and velocity about, about seven uh, kilometers per second. That we are going to return back Soyuz with no crew. And that's our primary scenario. That's why we are sending new Soyuz uh, with empty seats to be able to rescue crew and return them back in nominal situation. Uh, as for re-entry, we expect that maybe we will have some overheating of equipment and uh, still we think that Soyuz have several layers of redundancy and if computer fails we have uh, capability to continue uh, re-entry mode in uh, analog, uh, with analog equipment. So we have several layers of redundancy, so we think that Soyuz will return back safely. If a uh, crew would be there, then the temperature uh, drill set could be in high 30s, maybe low 40s uh, degrees centigrade, and temperature it itself is not so high. But the problem is that in small volume, humidity can be high, and crew will, may overheat with uh, high temperature and high uh, humidity. That's why we are not planning to use Soyuz in nominal situation for crew re-entry. We sent Soyuz earlier than we originally planned. Original plan was to send Soyuz for crew replacement in mid of March. Right now we are planning to send it in uh, end of February, February 20th actually. And usually we need to have about a week for crew handover and moving uh, all equipment from one Soyuz to another if needed. So at this point we also expect that uh, we prepare and land Soyuz a week or two after uh, docking of new Soyuz. We're not calling it a rescue Soyuz. Um, right now the crew is safe on board the space station and uh, you know we've by design uh, have space station as protected as we can and while we we protect for emergencies like you know debris uh, we also protect for emergencies like fire and and, and pneumonia and we have procedures on board uh, that are in english and russian that are in both control centers and design and so uh, i'm calling it a replacement soyuz uh, this is the the next Soyuz that was scheduled to fly in March, as you guys had, and Sergey has said, it'll just fly a little earlier. Um, from that standpoint, that's kind of what we're looking at. But I'll tell you, um, there's no immediate need for the crew to, to come home today. That all the systems are operating. Um, Sergey mentioned, you know, were, are you worried about? Or I think a question earlier on the debris that uh, hit the Soyuz. Uh, they looked at all the other systems in the Soyuz, and they were solid. They did a test the day after uh, this occurred, and were able to operate the motion control system and other systems in the Soyuz, as well as we've been operating the space station and haven't seen any impacts to any other systems.